Hey everybody, this is the how to simulate your DPS and get your stat priority guide. Big shout out to Cam, Ratu, and others that have helped me as I'm going through my PVE adventure for Ellie and Enhance, find these things out and figure out how to do them. So I'm gonna share it with you. This guide's gonna go through, how do you select the best gear for you? You get a new piece of gear. How do you know if it's gonna be a DPS increase or a DPS decrease? Maybe it's five item levels more and you have it has different secondary stats. Is it better? Is it worse? Those are the types of questions we're gonna try to answer for any class in the entire game. Next, how do you figure out your personal stat weightings? You might have a ton of haste and you know haste is your number one stat, but is there a breaking point? Should you be stacking some crit? Is, this, is there something else you should be doing? That's another thing we're gonna be showing you how to do and load that into the game so you can be highlighting different pieces of gear and determining is that an upgrade or not. And lastly, we're gonna go over some resources that are extremely useful. That it's amazing that these are out that will help you determine, hey, what's a better trinket for me for a single target, for a multi-target? What's a better Azerite trait for me to stack? Should I combo those together? Are they better together? Are they better not? Those are the types of questions that, that these resources answer, and it's incredible that they exist, so shout out to those makers. Now, this is a disclaimer. Number one, this is a simulation. You can't base all your decisions off this, and I would empower you. Go test the stuff out yourself. I, there was an Azerite trait that I thought was supposed to be really good based on The Sims, and I hated it. I hate it. The globules, they just don't work. But don't blindly trust this stuff. You need to go test by yourself. Go hit a dummy, test it out. Try to get to your DPS sim target, but you probably won't make it there because that's like a robot doing it. Also, this entire thing does not work for healers. I'm sorry, even the trinkets. You will have to try, try to find your best in slot list elsewhere. I'll try to help that out eventually. And with that being said, we're gonna dive into it. How do you choose the best gear for you? This applies to all classes. You're in a dungeon, you're doing PVP even, you get a gear drop, and now you look at the secondary stats and you say, are these the best for me? Well, you can follow just general advice, which is perfectly fine, but if you really wanna know if that's gonna be a gear upgrade or not, let's say it's five item level higher, but the one of the secondary stats is poop for you. Like those are things that you might be able to figure out or rule of thumb, but why not use robots and math? to do it for you. The goal of this, guys, I wanna show you how, if you get two pieces of gear, how do you do a simulation for that? And luckily, there are add-ons and websites that are going to help us do this extremely easily. So the first thing you need to know is you need to go grab an add-on called Simulation Craft. You can go to curseforge.com and get the add-on manually, or you can use the Twitch app because both resources have it. You just need to download it and install it. Now, when you're in the game and you've set it up, this is what's going to happen. You're going to type, slash S-I-M-C, and you click enter. What this does is it generates this huge text file in the middle of your screen. Now, what does that mean? Well, basically, this is categorizing all of your gear, all of your talents, all of your bagged items, so everything in my messy bags is all in this right here. It's all in here. Everything here is in here. So what I need to do is I need to, oh geez, control A, copy it, control C to copy, and then I need to go to the website. The website being raidbots.com. Awesome, awesome website. Now, this website has a lot of different options that you can do. Top gear, this is what we're gonna be using. Gear compare, compare different sets of gear. Quick sim, if you wanna run your character through the quick sim, it will tell you how much theoretical your optimum DPS is, so that's a good shooting target. Talent compare, compares different talent builds, given your gear, so that you can see what's gonna do more DPS in certain scenarios. You know, uh, and we'll get to stat weights later in advance we won't talk about. But basically what I always use is top gear. And what I do is I go into top gear and I go in here and I, and I want, what I want to do is I want to paste that entire text that was in that add-on that was on the screen, okay? Now that, what that's going to do is it's going to load everything on your screen. And you're going to be like, what do you mean? So it's going to load everything. Well, pretty much it loaded all my talents, as you can see. These are all the ones that I have. It loaded all of the headpieces in my entire inventory with all of their Azerite traits. What? That's insane. This is never, like, I don't even, I don't know how long this has been out, but it's pretty incredible. So what I can do is I can say, hmm, you know, I want, my headpiece is igneous potential. It's super good for me, but let's sim it against blood, right? Let's sim, you know, and also let's have another combination be a different helmet. Let's not do that one. Let's do this one. And let's go ahead and look, you know, okay, all this gear I'm, I'm comfortable with. I want to basically select anything that I want it to compare and say, which one's better? What combination of all this gear is better? Now, there is a limitation at the bottom, certain number of combinations that you can do being free, but that's just a limitation of the computing power. So if I go down and I'm like, all right, oh yeah, let's try this trinket. Let's put that in there. Uh, let's see, for second uh, main hand, I wanna put on this other one. 
and then let's take this other trinket so oh, so that went over the number of combinations i'll take that out so the, this is the set of combinations that i'm going to run so i selected everything i want including azurite traits which is very very cool you can do that now I'm going to the bottom. There are some options here about gems and enchants. Select that as you will. Existing gems and enchants, I say go ahead and replace them if they're bad. Now I go to the bottom, blah, 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 blah. And what we want to do is we want to say find top gear. When I click find top gear, what it's going to do is it's going to put me into this free queue. If you do want to, if you want to pay, you can go into premium. There's no wait time. They'll prioritize you to get uh, processed. But now what you need to do is basically just sit here and wait for it to get done. So as this is finished up, now just a quick reminder, this is using the stat priorities as it seems as it sees fit for an elemental shaman based on my spec. Now that's only as good as the coding that's been done, so only the you know based on the research. Now you can see here on the right side it was a patchwork fight, one target. The fight lasted for five minutes. This is in seconds. Number of simulations that were done to see the combinations, and I can see okay, hey, my optimum DPS is 10,571. Uh, and what I can see is okay, your currently equipped gear is the top gear. Yeah, I know I've done this. And then if I look down below, top gear equipped is this 10k 571 and i can see if i wanted to switch out to this other mace that i have in my inventory it would go down to this uh 10k 566 if i wanted to only switch my cloak it would be this so it'll categorize all the different combinations and i can see oh hey look i thought that other azurite trait was better but because of the sim i see that resin's fury and elemental world that combination isn't as good as what i have on now which is a huge deal, guys. This was going to help you extremely so much because it's going to be able to help you not be thinking that you're doing something wrong or, uh, you know, it'll give you some confidence in what, in what you're doing. So, guys, this is how it works. So, this is how, you know, if I had changed a piece of gear, it would highlight it here and say, oh, you need to switch this piece. You need to do something different on this. You need to do something different here. That's the, that's the beauty of this. It's going to equipped all the pieces, show you what should be on, show you what Azerite traits even should be used. And luckily I'm, I'm best right now. So that's how this is used. So this is how you would sim. And so if I get a different trinket, I would say, oh, you know, here's the trinket. I would select it in that simulator and I would run it to see what's best. So that's pretty much how you want to do it for determining what gear is best for you based on the stat priorities for your class that are already locked into raidbots.com. Now that's pretty much how you want to do this. But remember again, guys, it's a simulation. This isn't the end all be all. So just keep that in mind. On to the next section. How do I figure out my personal stat weightings? So I've, I've talked about earlier about how you know, Elemental Shaman have a certain stat priority for the class and how it's working right now. And that's pretty much, you know, set in stone. It's haste, then versatility slash crit. But what if I want to see, hey, based on my gear right now, I already have a ton of haste. I already have a ton of versatility. Maybe crit would be more important for me to balance things out. So what we need to do to figure that out, and that'll also help us through a different add-on, but we'll get to that in a minute. Basically, what you need to do is you need to go back to raidbots.io, you need to go to the home page, go to stat weightings, and you can either load your character here or you can load from your sim add-on. And what we're able to see kind of surprisingly is, okay, you know, I said haste versatility was best, but now based on my gear, based on my, my spec, I can see, okay, this is how much DPS is the goal. And here are my stat weightings. My stat weights intellect 1.16. Okay, and let's pause here. What, what does that mean? The whole weighting system, and when people say that, what it means is one point of that stat will increase your DPS by that much. So one to how many DPS? So it's basically maximizing that conversion. So for intellect, one point of intellect gives me 1.69 DPS. One point of haste gives me 1.36. So we can see haste is still the max stat after intellect. We can see that crit is actually my is actually up next and that's probably because i have so much versatility it's coming out of my ears so that's why this is third and if you look at mastery one point of mastery actually decreases the dps which is actually ridiculous to think that which is one of the reasons i think they're going to change that in 8.1 but put your tin foil hat on for that so this is how you calculate your stat priorities based on your gear set this is how you know if you get a piece of gear it will likely be an upgrade by this much that much it is definitely helpful to keep this in mind this is what i'll be looking for now in my next piece of gear when i'm looking at mythics and all that stuff or something drops now i know hey that's probably a big upgrade let me go sim it in top gear and then let me check my priorities again now another reason why this can be so useful is because there is an add-on called pwn P-A-W-N, and I recommend you definitely pick this up as it's going to give you a pretty good sense of the amount of an upgrade a certain piece of gear is. So this is if you look in my inventory, in the game, 
you'll see that there are these up arrows next to a lot of pieces of gear. And what you see here is that it actually says that if I put this piece of gear on, it would be an elemental upgrade by 6%. Raid bots would make it a 7%, but I also locked in my own stat weights, which I will show you in a second. So it's a 7% upgrade. And this now compares it for other specs. Knowing that I have the best for Ellie, what it'll say is, oh, this is actually a 21% upgrade for Enhance if you were Enhance. And it's gonna be this much of a mastery uh, of an upgrade for Resto if you're Resto. And now that's actually really useful because there are certain rings and stat priorities for different specs that you don't might not really be aware of. Hey, how much of a side grade is that? Because, hey, I'd like to know. So this is definitely something that's gonna help you monitor what's an upgrade. So how does this add-on work? Pawn, what it does is it's kind of a complex add-on here with all the different sections. But what you wanna do is you wanna to go to scale and you wanna import your own scalings as RaidBots had just calculated for you. So if I go back to RaidBots, what I see is there's a pawn string here. It gives it to me right here. I'm gonna copy it or copy the clipboard. And then I'm gonna go back in to World of Warcraft and I'm gonna say import and I'm gonna paste everything here, which has all the weighting set up. Okay, and there it is. There it is, there it is. And this will adjust over time, everybody. So if depending on all the different pieces of gear you get set up, you will have to rerun that and get it all set up because this is the most optimal way to balance your stats following your currently equipped it gear. This will help you see things in game. I think that, that was actually a, a very helpful tip. Shout out to everybody helping me get set up with this. Now, finally, guys, I've, we've gone over how do you select the top pieces of gear. We've gone over how do I find out my personal stat priorities and load that into Pawn. Now, let's talk about certain resources that are out there that help you identify what's my best trinket, what's my best Azerite traits, the certain combos of those, what are the best races, general stat distributions, like general guidance that is a nice resource to have up while, maybe while you're doing a dungeon. And I have two resources for you guys, the first being Hero Damage. Hero Damage is a website. You can easily go to, up here, go to herodamage.com, and it brings up all the different class symbols. I am a uh, shaman, but you can basically press anything. Here, I go in here. It has different Azerite powers by item level, different stacks, uh, stacked Azerite power, power uh, traits, combinations, and trinkets. I personally am always going to the trinket section. If I go in here, pre-raids, I'm going to go into elemental. I'm going to have a single target selected. I'm gonna have trinket select and there's different things here you can also select and it's gonna show me hey look at this okay this would be the best trinket for me and you can see the different colors represent the different item levels of the piece of gear so if i go into a mythic and i, and I get oh i got it i got a warforged which would be 345 or i got a titan forge which could be three you know 50. that is something where i'm able to say hey like this is interesting how do i compare all this all my all my different trinket possibilities now this is not tailored to your specific stats but this is general guidance based on the current sims at the moment and you can see that dark moon card squalls has been adjusted over time based on their nuff, uh, their buffs or their nerfs and then you know different things out here are, are in different places so definitely it's a little bit hard to read it takes a little bit of getting used to especially when comparing something down here at a certain item level to something up here but try to use this line as guidance but this is definitely something that will help understand now these lines represent D dps increases from zero to 15 percent and you can do it by triple target okay if i'm going into cleaves mythic pluses are coming out how are they going to work oh ignition fuse one of the reasons i I took it for cleaving i mean these are th these are different ways we're going to be able to track and gauge our dps um and what trinkets we want to be sh at least shooting for now you don't have total control over this and certain things like this is a world boss drop but this is just something to good to keep in mind and track Similarly, there's a website called Blood Mallet. They have the same type of thing, but they have some other uh, additions as well. They have races. What are the race DPSs that are the, doing the most DPS based on the race? You can see trolls the top for a shaman expected as be, you know because of the haste, etc. Um, you know, pandas up there. Dren, wait, what? Drena is up there. Orc etc etc so these are based off of all the different racial abilities available now there's also secondary stat distributions as i was mentioning before this is something that is showing you oh my gosh it's a 3d that's incredible ba uh, basically what it's doing is it's showing you hey where are my general stat priorities as an ally and as you can see it's mostly between haste and crit those are the two things you want to be stacking i am also stacking a lot of versatility but that's also for for me for pvp now this is something that's extremely useful and, and, and great guidance like this is something i could follow be like hey generally i need a shitload of haste and i need some crit this website also has trinkets which is interesting and they're very they're pretty much this in the same boat this has less uh eye level distributions but that's totally fine you can still compare things you can also do azurite traits this will show you th you know different options here and how they're simming out 
in the current tier. And this will work for any class you want. Arcane Mage, wow, okay. Galvanist Spark, there it is. So this is different ways that you can check it out as well. You can see, okay, head, shoulders, certain setups, item level, distribution for some of these as their as are as being as right traits. Very useful. And you can see, oh, uh, yeah, that didn't show anything. Okay, but warning all charts are about dealing damage only. Yeah, that's right. So pretty much, guys, this is where these are two great resources that you can use to track. Well, hey, what are the trinkets I should be using? What are the best races? And all of this is clearly PvE, but there's an essence of PvP here. Because if you're maximizing damage in PvE, you're likely getting pretty close in PvP. Now that you know, survivability and all that stuff, which is why I'm going versatility. But it's a great way and a great resource to use to track all of that. And guys, that is the quick guide on how to simulate your character for the stats, for your DPS, for best gear is the best one. But remember, guys, this is a... These are simulations. These are not real play. You're gonna be moving around a lot. You're not probably gonna hit your quick sim DPS. There's a lot of things changing, but let me just give a quick shout out to the developers that made this raidbots.io, hero damage, and blood melt you guys are incredible you are robot lords thank you so much and guys let me know in the comments below if there's any other resources that you all use that everyone should know about because this is the way that we're going to get better players you're going to get better pugs you're going to get better everything is people know their stats they know what they're going for they know the gear they need and that's that so guys i want to thank everybody for tuning in today and we'll see you in the next one make sure to tune into the twitch streams and youtube streams weekly tuesday thursdays 9 p.m and then other times they just happen guys i'll see you in the next video. Take care.